Yes. You look fabulous. Who are you wearing? David Coma. Yes. He's very edgy. I'm yeah. liking all the stuff that's I, coming what out. What I love is that it's it's old Hollywood with an edge. That's what we're kind of going for. It's like I guess I, I'm so honored to receive the new Hollywood award. So it's new Hollywood with a bit of old Hollywood and like edge, you know. Function she thought about this. There was a method to my madness. Yes. You are receiving the new Hollywood award. You've been around for a while though, longer than some of the the honorees. <laughs> How does it feel, you know, to be receiving this award tonight? Oh, it's a huge, huge honor. And you know what? to be receiving it for a movie like this with Warren Beatty presenting to me tonight, but also being my mentor and, and director, writer, producer, it's, if if this is going to be something that I win a new Hollywood award for, what an honor. I mean, I'd rap, this could be the coming out. I don't know. I mean, I this is amazing, a huge honor to be included in a list of people here tonight, and it's very, very cool. Yeah, it's really, very cool. Now, I love that your dad just came out with a memoir, but you, <laughs> R2, and you said you're going to be vying for that uh, bestseller list. <laughs> I actually, it was, I had no idea that it would, I mean, the announcements and the coming, none of it was originally going to coincide, and it just literally happened that way. Uh, he didn't know that I had been writing, it was like a whole thing. So, I mean, mine's not a memoir, I'm only 27 years old, but it's a collection of essays and anecdotes and letters about what it is to become a young woman, and I talk about all the taboo things that girls go through, but they just don't want to admit to, and once we do, we're like, oh my God, you too, thank God! You're like I'm not crazy, um, so it's it's very exciting. I I you know, there's no stone left unturned when it comes to my life. Yeah, you are very young, but you also I mean you've got five million Instagram followers. We were looking, is the is I won't call it a memoir, but will your book be um, more personal? I guess would that be the word? Because what's the line of like having that many people following your life, but then still having some privacy? No, totally. I think um, like I said, I bear my soul in this but it's it's my choice and I'm putting it out there in the way that I want to put it out there and at the end of the day I own what I put out there and those are my words and everything after that I still can control how personal I want to keep my life but I feel it's really important for me to connect to them I am a normal 27 year old okay there are some abnormal things in my life but at the core we all go through the same stuff and I think it's important just to own that stuff and have like like the title is be unfiltered and have no shame no regrets and just be ourselves so what kind of stories can we expect? If I told you now, you wouldn't be able to look forward to it. I'd still buy the book. <laughs> there's a lot. It's funny. It's uh, There's a bunch of emotions that I go through. Yeah, it was like therapy writing it. Well, congratulations Thank on your award and on the upcoming novel.